Last week, I let loose a parasitic ant queen onto a small ant colony. The queen was Lazius umbratus and she tried to invade the nest multiple times. After many attempts, the queen managed to overtake the nest and convince the workers she was the rightful queen. The first week of founding a Lazius umbratus colony is the hardest. If the workers don't accept the queen and feed her, the queen will die. As an ant keeper, you can only sit at the sidelines and watch. Luckily, you enjoyed watching too. My last video got a ton of support and love from you guys. Being the most watched aesthetic ants video in this short period of time proves that the video was solid. If you haven't checked out my previous Lazius Umbratus video, make sure you watch it. That being said, I promised to make an updated video if the colony would survive. And well, they did. As you can see, the colony is quite relaxed and doing fine. The queen is hiding in the corner, but to me she seems very relaxed. I'm pretty sure the founding process has been alright. Of course, the queen can still die, but right now I think we are fine. Last video I was wrong and said Lazius Imperatus has black workers. This is not true, they have yellow workers. There are very few people that keep large Lazius Imperatus colonies, so it would be cool if I can become one of them. I love the difference in the workers. Some are a bit bigger and others are smaller. Some are completely yellow and some look more green. The green color can be explained because I fed the colony blue liquid. Blue plus yellow equals green. I can't tell if new workers hatched. Some will hatch pretty soon so we can expect to see some growth in this colony. The outworld was a little messy so I quickly cleaned it. With these Lazius Flavus workers, I can leave the lid off forever. They will not escape unless you really disturb the nest. After I took out the garbage, I placed in some new food for the ants. A small cotton ball that I filled with sugary liquids. You might wonder why I put in the cotton. This is a little trick to prevent smaller ants from drowning in the liquid. I also placed in a super worm piece. I'm not sure if the ants will eat a lot of the worm, but every ant needs a bit of protein so it definitely won't hurt them. I tried making a little time lapse of the ants, but they did not seem to be interested in the food I gave them. Better luck next time. Here you can see a close up of the colony. All the workers packed together next to the queen. Moving on to the other Umbratus colony. As you can see, this colony is doing great. The queen is very relaxed and a lot of new workers emerge from their cocoons. We can see that there are a lot of green ants in this colony as well. To me, they look a bit like weaver ants. What do you guys think? I cleaned up the outworld and fed the ants. And that brings us to the end of this short update. Not much happened in one week, but I could not leave you guys waiting for several months. Before I go, I want to quickly talk about my Discord server. Since a lot of viewers haven't joined yet, and I think you are missing out. Discord is a platform where you can chat with fellow endkeepers. It's like online forums, but better. On my server you can talk about ants, ask questions, show your setups, and much much more. It's also the place where you can talk directly with me if you want to. Join me in a voice call and we'll have some wonderful times together. Please note that you need to be 12 years or older to join Discord. If you are Dutch, no worries. There's a special channel where you can talk Dutch since most of my viewers are Dutch. There's a link in the description where you can join. Alright. See you on the server. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.
Let me know if you enjoyed it. Bye.